Hello there! Ever wondered if and how you could become a YouTuber on Linux? Lucky you, I made this video. In this video I will not go over about on how to create your own YouTube avatar, be it 3D or 2D, but rather on how to get things working in the first place. I may make a follow-up video on how to create your own 2D and 3D YouTubing avatars on Linux because I already did, but not this time. Also, never mind the avatars I use for demonstration purposes, in order to avoid copyright claims I simply use the avatars of my girlfriend, which happens to be made or at least adapted to be usable inside YouTubing software by me on Linux. With that said, let's become a YouTuber. YouTube Studio I'd like to begin with one of the more popular YouTubing applications out there, YouTube Studio. For those who are new, it's a 2D YouTubing application available for Windows, macOS, Android and iOS. Classic, isn't it? Anyhow, it wouldn't be Linux if we can't get things working as well. Which is actually pretty easy thanks to Proton. Simply download the application from Steam and launch it. Face tracking. As we now have YouTube Studio running, we still need to get face tracking working. Here you can either use your phone or a webcam. If you plan on using your phone, there's nothing special to do on Linux and things should just work as like on other systems. Webcam. If you want to use a webcam for face tracking, you can sadly not use the YouTube Studio built-in face tracker as neither Proton nor Wine have fully implemented webcam support at this point. This means we need to apply a workaround and use an external application to track the face and sending the data over to YouTube Studio. Thankfully, there is built-in support for this using OpenSeaFace, which is an open source command line application for face tracking which is also available natively on Linux. However, installing, setting up and running OpenSeaFace is not as straightforward. Therefore, I wrote a graphical user interface to simply do all this for you. Over on FlatApp you will find an application called FaceTracker, which is the very user interface I developed, which you just need to download and run. Select the desired video format, frame rate and tracking model and hit the blue button in the upper left corner of the main window. For YouTube Studio to pick up the tracking data from the running FaceTracker instance, we just need to supply a little text file to the application. In Steam, click on Browse Files and navigate to YouTube Studio underscore data streaming assets and create a new file called ip.txt. Open the file and enter the following ip equals 0.0.0.0 and port equals 11573. Keep in mind, if you change the server settings in Face Tracker, you also need to update this text file. After relaunching YouTube Studio and tell it to do the tracking, you're good to go. OBS Studio. Now that we've got the face tracking working, we also want to include our YouTube model into OBS Studio for live streaming. Unfortunately, the virtual webcam YouTube Studio does provide it does not work on Linux. Therefore, we need to do a little workaround here as well and in fact we'll just screen capture YouTube Studio instead. Add a new window or a game capture source to your OBS Studio scene and select YouTube Studio. Now you can either set a mask to crop the image, something like a circle, or you use chroma keys to subtract the background color from the video input. For using the chroma key, I recommend using the background number 8 inside YouTube Studio and select green as a color key in the chroma key filter. Then you just need to hide the interface in the application itself and that's it. We see face. The developers of OpenSeaFace actually provide a 3D YouTubing software themselves, called VCFace. Running it on Linux is fairly easy as well. I recommend using bottles to run this application. Create a new bottle called something like YouTubing or whatever your desire inside the main UI and select Gaming as its environment and hit Create. While waiting for bottle to do its thing, we can download VCFace from the official site. Afterwards, open up the bottle by clicking on it and navigate to the three dots in the upper right corner and choose Browse Files. This will open up the location of the YouTubing bottle inside your file explorer. Navigate to Program Files and extract VC Face to this directory. If everything is extracted, go back into Bottles and below Programs, click on Add Shortcut. A file chooser should open. And in here, navigate to the location where VC Face was extracted to. Then select vcface.exe and the application should now be listed below Programs. By clicking on the Play button next to it, you can launch the application. Face tracking. After going through the initial tutorial screen, you will then be advancing to the model selection screen. In case you have a VRM model, you can now add the avatar here. But the more important part is the actual face tracking VC face. 
As like with YouTube Studio, you cannot capture your webcam from within VCFace directly and would require to set up OpenCFace manually. Therefore, simply install Face Tracker from FlatUp and start the face tracking from there. Inside VCFace, you select OpenCFace Tracking and your primary microphone for sound input in order for it to sync the mouse to your speech. IP and port can be left on their default values, which is 127.0.0.1 and 11573. Now you can just click on start and VCFace should do its thing. If you want to use other tracking methods not involving your local webcam, they do work as on other platforms. OBS Studio To get VCFace into your OBS Studio scene is done via a window or a game capturing the VCFace application. As VCFace properly supports alpha channel transparency, you do not need to hang around with chroma key filters to remove the background, as the game capture would already know about this and not display the background. After hiding the user interface in VCFace, you should be good to go. Varudo Another popular YouTubing application is Varudo. You can get it from Steam and it does run out of the box using Proton. Face tracking. As with other Windows-only YouTubing software, you cannot use your webcam for within the application. Therefore, if you plan on using your webcam for face tracking, you need to apply a little workaround here. First, set up VCFace as described earlier. Then inside VCFace, open up Settings, General Settings, and scroll down until you read OSC slash VMC protocol. Click the checkbox next to send data with OSC slash VMC protocol and close the settings dialog. Now back to Varudo. Inside the Varudo editor, add a new item from the motion capture sections and choose VMC receiver. Check that the port is set to 39539, as this is the default value of VC phase to transmit the data to local VCM receiver. Next, select a character and click on setup motion capture. As face tracking template, you choose VMC and hit OK. For post tracking, you also select VMC, otherwise Varudo will only react on facial expressions sent from VC face. Then you hit OK and that's it. OBS Studio To get Varudo into OBS Studio is also done via a window or a game capture source as like with YouTube Studio or VC face. You can either apply a mask filter to the capture source or also make use of chroma keys by choosing a singular color as a background of Varudo. For this, you need to configure the camera inside Varudo. At basic settings, simply enable chroma key, select the desired color, and then disable render environment. That's it. Virtual Puppet Project Another way of YouTubing on Linux is using the Virtual Puppet Project. Unlike the other already mentioned solutions, it had native Linux support and can capture your webcam just fine. However, in terms of features, it's very limited and unfortunately the project seems to be discontinued as of now. But being an open source application, it might be possible that someone will start working on it in the future. As a little side note, it also uses OpenCFace under the hood for face tracking. OBS Studio To get the app into OBS Studio is done via window or game capturing source as well. Since it supports alpha channel transparency and thus the window might look a little strange, you do not need to hack around with filters to get rid of the background. Just hide the user interface and you're good to go. Venia. Vinyan is another popular YouTubing application which is also only available for Windows. You can just download and install it into the same bottle as like VCFace. Download Vinyan from the official webpage and extract it into program files inside the YouTubing bottles next to VCFace. Then add a new shortcut pointing towards vinyan.exe. The app should just launch out of the box. Face tracking. To get face tracking to work, we also need to use VCFace in order to transmit tracking data using the VMC protocol to Vinian. Therefore, set up VCFace as explained earlier and then under Settings, General Settings, check Send Data with OSC slash VMC protocol. Inside Vinian, you then open up the settings as well, navigate to Tracking Layers and scroll down until you see a section called VMC Layers. Choose any of the layers and change the port number to what is configured inside VCFace. By default this should be 39539. Hit enter and you should see that Vinian mirrors the tracking from VCFace except the expressions. To enable expressions, scroll down to the bottom of the VMC layer you have chosen and set blend shapes tracking to either replace or biggest value. Now also the expressions seen in VCFace should be carried over to Vinian. As a side note, Vinian is also based on VCFace, in case you wonder about the similarities. OBS Studio As like with other YouTubing softwares, 
Getting them into OBS Studio can be done via a window or a game capture source. As Vinian supports alpha channel transparency as well, you do not need to apply any filters to get rid of the background. Simply hide the interface and you're good to go. Outro. That should be it for today's video and I hope you found this video helpful and can now start or even continue viewtubing on Linux. If you have any further questions or feel like something is still missing on Linux for your viewtubing needs, let me know in the comments. Wish you a great day and let's get the hype train rolling.